Windows 10 was debuted just a few weeks ago and it offers a plethora of updates and upgrades to desktop, tablet, and the phone. Windows 10 for phone is still in its very early stages, but Microsoft has rolled out a technical preview for a few select devices, and we were lucky enough to have an extra Lumia 830 lying around to install it and give it a try. Now, I've been using Windows 10 for a phone for about a good two weeks now on the Lumia 830, and I've been mainly using it at home and not my daily driver because of its beta nature. But I wanted to give you guys a brief look at what Windows 10 for phone brings to the table so let's go ahead and jump on in. First things first, it's the new home screen layout. Brought over from Windows Phone 8 is the transparent tiles, but now we can use different types of backgrounds that just make the phone feel completely personal. It's not a huge update, but it definitely helps Windows 10 make a good first impression. Next up is the restructured notification center. First of all, notifications like text messages are now actionable when they come in. Similar to iOS, you can pull down on the tab and enter your reply without going to that application, but it only currently works with texts and nothing else, but I'm sure third-party application developers will take full advantage of that feature when it releases to the public. Another addition to the notification center lies in the notifications themselves. Now individual notifications are dismissed and lastly, we have a new drop-down menu for more quick functions like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and more. Cortana has also received a big upgrade this year, improved voice recognition, more tasks it can do, but for some reason my voice dictation isn't currently working in my text messages. Remember what I said about this being a technical preview, so there are lots of bugs. But speaking of keyboards, Windows 10 brings a virtual trackpad, similar to BlackBerry's trackball, to move around the cursor. Now it's actually really handy when you think about it when you're jumping through lines or one single space, but it's definitely going to take some time to get used to. Now the camera for Windows 10 for phone is now by default the Nokia camera, which brings all the professional settings like ISO and white balance and shutter speed and so on. I'm definitely all in favor for that movement. And last but not least, the new settings layout is no longer an endless list of white text. We have logos, have uniformity throughout the whole settings. That in itself is a much appreciated update and it's only taken them five years. But all jokes aside, it's great seeing new life in Windows 10 for phone. It's definitely getting to the point where people will like it more than the other two options that are currently available, and hopefully with each update to this technical build, we'll get closer to a finished product of Windows 10 for phone. So make sure to leave me what your thoughts are on Windows 10 for phone in the comments below. Make sure to also stay tuned to Phone Dogs Mobile World Congress coverage starting tomorrow. And as always, my name is Mark Johanna, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.